in net tonight for his 18th appearance of the year. The puck is dropped, crunch from left to right. Marlies from right to left, Syracuse in their home. Blue jerseys, the Marlies in their visiting whites. Picked up by Corey Conacher, weaves down the right wing. Gains the blue line, goes cross ice to Smith. Backhander, he scores! Quick start for the crunch as Jamel Smith roops a backhander. And just 46 seconds in, it's 1-0 crunch. Well, I think Smith really picked off the attempted pass. Conacher, I think, was going, or at least attempting to go all the way to Boris Kachuk of the far wing. Jamel Smith said, oh, I'll take this. And he went right in and just rooped in the back area. Went right off of Smith's skate. And he kicked it to his stick and just put it under the bar. Great play by Smith. 20 seconds to go, four on four. Ben Thomas, right circle. Stick handles, good move out in front. Backhander, he scores! Oh, what a goal for Ben Thomas! 2 nothing. 5.45 to go in the first period. He undressed to Marley. Went in through the slot and backhanded home a spectacular goal. And it's 2 nothing crunch as they strike on the four on four. Wow, what a goal for Ben Thomas. It's his second goal of the season. Oh, great move with the right circle, got past, got it, and went in on his backhand and scooped it home. Great goal. Ben Thomas makes it 2 nothing to the center point. Left circle, Barre Boulay. The Crunch All-Star sets up Taylor Radish. Shoot, he scores! It's a power play goal for Taylor Radish, and it's 3 nothing Crunch with 2.13 left in the first period. Great period for the Crunch, and on their 20th shot of the period, Taylor Radish snipes it home, and it's 3-0 Crunch. Well, you couldn't have drawn up this period any better for Syracuse. This has been what they've been waiting for and waiting for over the last couple of weeks, and they finally found it. Radish with a power play goal, and the Crunch have a three spot. Walks to the middle, left side Barre Boulay. At the circle, shoot, save, rebound, loose, and they poke away, somehow that stayed out. Wow, now they score! Colton, power play goal. It's four nothing Crunch. Initially that puck stayed out of the net. The Crunch kept hounding away though, and finally Ross Colton slid it home. Second power play goal of the night for the Crunch, and it is four nothing with 16.46 to go in the second period. Now, I don't know how that first one stayed out, but the Crunch stuck right with it. And this power play has come through. Right side, Agostino has space. Drops it off, Lilligren out in front, score! Nick Patan, a power play goal, and it's a three goal game. 4-1, 14-21 to go in the second period, and that's exactly what the Marlies needed. They finally get on the board, and Probably the goaltending change, you know, Toronto trying to build some momentum as Patan gets the deflection. And the Marlies are on the board, it's four to one. And halfway through regulation, take away by the crunch, Martel left side with Conacher cutting, slid it across, Conacher shoots, he scores! The crunch are getting the breaks tonight, it's a shorthanded goal for Corey Conacher on a misplay by Dunnick Martel, 5-1. 13-18 to go in the second period. Well, Ben Grew said before the game they weren't get the, getting the breaks the last couple of nights. Donick Martell was not trying to slide that puck across, <laughs> but he did. And it came to Corey Conacher. Kaskasuo initially made the save. It rolled off of his right arm, down his back, and over the goal line. Swirls a back hitter behind the net for Matthew Joseph. In the left corner, Joseph throws it out in front, kick loose, score, Smith! Six one with 11-14 to go in the second period. Jamel Smith gets his second goal of the night. And his ninth goal in the last 10 games. Tricky play by the crunch. And eventually came to Jamel Smith at the back post and he slams it home. Crunch offense finally rising to life here in this Friday night matchup. Maybe all the crunch needed was a new year. And they have opened 2020 with six goals in less than half a game. And skating past Cascazuo, that one uncalled. And so play continues. Matt Reed gains the line for the Marley, shoots, he scores! Whoa, what a shot from Matt Reed. Picked a very fine top corner. And the Marlies are back within four. It's six to two with 8.53 left in the second period. 
Oh, well, great shot for Matt Reed. There was no room to shoot, and he still found the corner. Sit off the end wall to the near side boards. Sompi jostles with Archibald. That allows Radish to get it. Throws it in front. They score! It's a power play goal. Well, maybe not. It could be even strength. The power play just expired. Either way, it's a tip in from Alex Barry Boulay, and it's 7 to 2 with 12.39 left in the third period. Well, it's great work along the board by Otto Sompi. As the puck was dumped around, it came along the near side, and Sompi tied up with Darren Archibald. That allowed the crunch to dig it free. And then it came to Taylor Radish at the bottom of the circle. Perfect pass to a free Alex Barre Belay. Radish went right through the legs of Schmaltz on the pass. And DB tips it home. 7-2 crunch on his 13th goal of the year. So I don't know exactly which one is accurate at this point. I mean, the game sheet, I guess, is official. And they have not registered a shot for the Marlies. So on there, it's puck out in front for Sapi. Oh, he scores! Ha! What a bounce! 8-2. 7.38 to go in the third period. Sapi, I mean, again, the breaks are going the crunches way tonight. Sapi trying to send a backhander just across, and it bounced off of a skate and in. And so it's 8 to 2 with 7.38 to go in the third period. Otto Sopi's had a pretty nice night tonight. That's now three points for him, a goal and two assists. Oh, I say it a lot, but every time he's in the lineup, he seems to do something for the crunch. 